I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the crypto market of today. Bitcoin is sitting at about 44.1k, a slow decline or let's say stabilization from where we were before. So it was hovering around the 44k when it made that attempt to break basically that 45k barrier, uh, but wasn't successful. So multiple times, uh, basically yesterday, it tried to retest it, I think twice, yeah, twice, but basically one real attempt where it almost broke through, but the resistance was too much. Basically right now, 44k, because of that half a percent, basically decline, 1% uh, in the last 24 hours. We do see some of the gaming launch pads, uh, other uh, categories pulling back a little bit as well. So do take that into consideration. The fear and greed index moving more into neutral territory. And this is basically because of the stabilization of the price uh, at 44K and it not moving down. Ethereum still above $3,000. So everything is still looking quite bullish. Solana back above $100, uh, which it hasn't been in a long time, right? So when we look at the charge, basically above $100 did occur in February, right? But then there was a long decline. It did retouch the $100 and then again, quite a long decline. We're talking two to three weeks periods at a time. Right now it's back and hopefully we'll see that <laughs> $200 again uh, soon, but it's still very, very far away from that at the current moment. Any big gainers? Uh, definitely, right? So it's not all definitely a lot more red, right? X Infinity uh, basically did a real big push. So now a little bit of a pullback. It's normal, right? Elrond still making steady linear gains. So that's looking really, really well. Uh, Phantom made a small recovery, but not as significant as of that huge crash. EOS still up over the seven days. So that's looking quite good. We got Convex uh, making a 10% gain today, 35% uh, up, Loopring again gaining. So definitely doing really well this week. And basically you're looking more at some sideways movement, right? Some more stabilization, some coins, uh, some profit is being taken out because of the huge pumps. When we go to the second page out of the top 100, anything Silica making a huge rally basically started like a couple of hours ago, as you can see on the mini chart right here. Uh, but basically anything like top 100, top 120, it's usually kind of the same coins that move around a little bit, uh, less, less hyped, uh, more consistency there. Immutable X still back at 220, um, but after that, spike that it had right here it did definitely hurt its reputation with a slow declined pattern and now it's climbing up with a little bit more bullishness maybe the news had to pass of i think it was gamestop uh, the partnership and then the dump of the tokens it was quite um, unfortunate how that played out uh, but they seem to be recovering well so that's obviously interesting when we go into the crypto gaming, because obviously that's one of the more interesting parts of these daily crypto gaming updates videos. I care about the market. I care about the top 100 tokens, but I care more about the crypto gaming. So we see Axie Infinity, as I said, huge uh, run up, small pullback, Sandbox, Decentraland, kind of the same. Uh, ApeCoin making some gains, which is quite interesting. So ApeCoin uh, starting a, well, I don't want to say new rally, but at least it's like in the last hour or so pumping a little bit. You can see um, I, I've been waiting. So according to my personal judgment and what I deem reliable for this project is $5. Under $5, I would make an entry. I haven't touched the ApeCoin at all. I do see the insane market cap. I do see the insane fully diluted value and I see the volume, what they're doing. So yes, I would say it's definitely one of the things you would have to take into consideration specifically with something is brewing right the the game the introduction the run-up period the token uh, everything they have done so far 
extremely, extremely uh, interesting, right? So one thing that I do think that's important is, um, although obviously the valuation is kind of insane, specifically fully diluted, um, take into consideration this is crypto, right? And specifically crypto gaming in combination with the highest demand multiple NFT collections, right? Uh, so definitely uh, something to be aware of here, uh, but just not interesting for me because uh, I look at the, at, the, at the gains, right, that to be made. Yes, maybe in a bull run it would go to, I don't know, $25, $35, uh, probably. Uh, but those uh, excess are hard to maintain on like a $10 billion market cap, a $50 billion fully diluted market cap. Uh, that would basically, uh, $50 billion push it in the top five cryptocurrencies, top six right um which i think for the maturity stage that it has the concept uh not so much uh, but definitely interesting so i'm following it i'm monitoring it but not going to make an entry above five dollars uh definitely for now that is for now right uh but yeah bullish on this in the long term just very curious about what they're going to bring gala stable engine at least some gains and the engine coin engine starter as the launch pad not doing that well bora bora we got render slowing down wax making some small gains okay illuvium hasn't done much hasn't done much so even on a seven day five seven nine it's yeah small gain monthly okay good recovery at least but on the three months yeah you can step in see see that hard drop at the basically 90 day period when we go back to 2021 basically um yeah still a long way on the mo one month chart it, look, it looks a lot better because definitely this was basically i believe the invasion of ukraine uh, or maybe the here earlier i'm not really too sure was that already that long ago hang on hang on hang on three months i think they were already going for a month basically it was this point maybe yeah it was this point perhaps so definitely retouch that point here as well, which which would have been a good entry. And right now it's up about 25%. So that's good. I mean, although it's not making any big gains in the last uh, seven days, uh, has been good uh, recovery. Ultra, not doing that much, but we covered that already yesterday. Yield Guild games, silent, Vulcan down again. Uh, as I said on my live AMA, I already took my tokens out with a 5% profit. Not as much as I expected, but still made two and a half thousand dollars. So quite happy about that. Uh, UFO Gaming, Neighbor Ellis. Okay, okay, okay. So Victoria making good gains again. Must have been an announcement of some sort for it to rally like 25%. Let's just check the Twitter real quick. If they pushed something live. Something is cooking. Okay, yeah, it's definitely an announcement. I can't read which language this is, but uh, basically this announcement must have been big because it basically pumped the price quite significantly. Uh, what you'll notice with these pump announcements is that at the same level, most likely tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, you'll see this 10%, 20% down again. So definitely in a, in a bearish, unstable market. I'm not saying we're bearish. We're kind of bullish right now, uh, but... It's very hard to maintain these type of hype pumps because the 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 greedishness, the bullishness is just not there yet. It needs to really move into probably this range. We're probably looking at like 60, 70 before that bullishness comes back. Uh, so Victoria, I don't know if this was a smart move, but hey, the pump is there. So that is uh, what I'm here for to announce. Uh, Phantasma down still, Cedify down still, Alien Worlds still on a seven day, Mines basically taking more losses because it was up 30, now it's 11, obviously the days continue, but while the world losing a lot of its value still, Kravada getting close to a dollar again, well still needs to lose 10%, but always bullish on Kravada I would say, my AVAX favorite. Uh, Star Atlas doing decent and you can see whoa well, GameFi almost getting a hundred percent That's like crazy Let's see what happened here All in the span of a week as well. So that's huge volume added. So it went from 2 million daily to 10 million 
Is there a new exchange? We see Qcoin and Gate has the most volume, but maybe it's just because it's trending there because normally Gate doesn't push that much volume. Um, let's just check the Twitter because on the Twitter, we always find the updates. Play to earn Yield Guild and Launchpad GameFi. Okay, there's an earn feature. GameFi org users now have a chance to earn tokens by staking in the new earning program. They launched the marketplace. Okay. But this was like this week that it pumped. So did it just do like a full pump back to back? Because of good announcements or maybe good launches, upcoming, earn. Yeah, so they announced the, the earn feature. Is that it? Just because people can earn more? Well, they are a guild. So maybe, I don't know how the earn feature actually works. And they did the first land sale for a project. Okay, interesting. So GameFi are definitely doing interesting things. Very, very interesting. And they have, I mean, like good results in the token. I mean, not gonna lie, this is not a slight pump, right? It went from like $28 to $52, 52 million market cap, uh, almost 800 million fully diluted for a launch pad. That's fucking insane. But if they have the combination with it, with the guild, uh, that makes sense. Uh, GameFi definitely making solid steps uh, to be uh, to be recognized. And that's what I'm doing here. GameFi, good job. Axe World Games, disaster. Star Terra making moves again. So that's actually quite interesting. They're obviously on the Terra Luna blockchain, which has been doing quite well. Uh, but they launched quite high and then we, they saw the decline. However, if we look at the monthly pattern, they did come from a dollar and now 43% gain so far. So they're definitely making steps. Again, let's head over to the Twitter and see what we got. Okay. They signed somebody, co-founder. Please welcome Stanowski. I don't know who the fuck that is. Polish journalist, businessman. All right, welcome to Starterra. Okay. Two years, gaming, okay. Some partnerships, all right, interesting. Bullish, people are bullish on the new announcements. Pumping the price, step by step. Gods Unchained strong over the weekly, Atari still strong. And that's what we're basically seeing because of the pump, right? So the pump, so things might be a little bit down on the one day, as I always say, zoom out a little bit. Look at the seven days, look at the, the monthly, uh, basically Sidus Heroes, the exact same thing. Uh, this was the, the influencer pump. It still hold the value a lot better than I was expecting, but obviously that's a clear pump and dump, right? But they at least gained something. So they gained about 10%, yeah, 10% on their token, a little less uh, of, that, of that pump. Uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, curious to see the Senate token, if, that, if that's like quite similar or if there's like a discrepancy there. Okay, game zone down. What else do we have? Tower Tower? I don't know what that is. So many new tokens as well. We might have to do some research, right? Senate. Yep, and Senate is even trading lower than it was before. And that's what you get. So play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Because this pump... As I, when it occurred, I did record and I just tell, told people this is dumb. Don't fall for it. It's like a, everybody can see that this is a fucking artificial pump. Um, and I said before, if Sidus is responsible for hiring an influencer to pump the price, they're fucking dumb because there's no longevity in it. Fair still doing really well after, the, after that initial pump. So that's holding good. So if, if there is a pump, at least hold the value, right? Don't fucking pump, dump. Makes no sense. Let's have a look at the Fina. Still not nothing. Well, not nothing, but uh, definitely 39. Again, lower low on the, on the 33. Basically, touch points base. It only went lower right here, which was about 31. Uh, yeah, 31 was the lowest point. So it's almost at the lowest point, which basically for me would signal a possible entry soon. Uh, probably 5,000, 10,000, probably something like this. It depends on how my NFT trades are going. But I'm very, very liquid right now with my stables. So I can definitely make a lot of plays into crypto gaming shitcoins <laughs> if I feel like it. 
if I feel like the market is uh, turning around. Neneco, Neneco actually holding the value quite well. So obviously that pump, as we can see, from like five nine all the way to seven eight. So that's doing quite well. Long way to go still to to regain what was lost. Uh, to consider outer ring holding good NFT rules and on a rapid decline. They need more utility for the token, in my opinion. Cryo War steady on the gains, maintaining its gains. Dualist King nope. Altura stable. So far, so good. Where's the Senate? Is it on this page? Oh, yeah, we already covered the Senate. Okay, let's have a look at MCRT. We go for the Magic Craft. Okay, small pump on the NFT announcement. Yep, there we go. And a small crash because they're just hype announcements. So, right, that's clear. Now let's pull up FN. All right. Strong decline, flat basically. Flat is fine for this one because they're in development. It's holding basically on IDO price. I did private, so I'm still profitable on this. Daily vested, so every day make a tiny bit of money. All good. I'm holding this long term, very bullish. So that's all good. Do I have anything? Anything else? Network, network taking a little bit of a pump just now, uh, but quite uh, unstable as you can see. Right, looking at this chart, it might be actually interesting to play some day trades, maybe. But it's Ethereum, so uh, Qcoin, so yeah, definitely might be some opportunities. Look at how it's swinging. So this is 1666 within 24 hours, 18. So it's a 10 percent gain, and these hooks they tend to come quite a bit because the volume is low. So 10 percent, 10 percent, yeah, it might be interesting to just make some uh, put in 10k and make like 1k. Uh, a little risky, obviously, but easy money, potentially. Would have to investigate more. Launchpads. What do we have on the launchpad side of things? Refresh. Super farm down a little bit. Downmaker up. So Downmaker is actually signing the deal with Unix Gaming, the launchpad um, to, to support the ecosystem. Very bullish on that news. Polka starter, stable, Cedify, kind of stable. Trust swap up, linear upward trend, but slowly. Then we got GameFi and Starter and basically making massive gains, basically pushing themselves in the top 10 launch pads, right? So Super Farm, UFO are not really launch pads. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know this one, and I don't know this one, but it says launch pad. I don't know if Sigcoin is actually a launch pad. Uh, but basically, this would be your top 10. So yeah, game five star Terra, good job. Positioning yourself properly, because it's not easy for a launchpad, specifically in the current market, to make such drastic gains and then maintain them as well. So we have to see over the coming days if these gains are to be maintained or if they will crumble under the pressure. Anything else interesting? Nah, not really. Bitcoin not doing that much. The launchpad also not doing that much. Um, so far, so good. Nearpad. Yeah, still losing value. Fee launch. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this. Look at it. Told you so. That's all I'm going to say about it. If you watch this far, put it in the comments. Told you so. All right. Avalanche said a little bit down, but bullish on the AVAX blockchain in general. So I think they, they will do great things in the next bull run. Meta VPAD obviously down after the pump. That makes sense. Engine starter down, 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 down. I did say that I would probably see it under a cent because they can't seem to fix the, the downward momentum. Uh, still 7 million market cap, as I said before. So nothing to worry about in terms of the value. Vulture Peak, crap. Any pet, crap. Meme pet, crap. King pet, crap. Troop PL, crap. And when I say crap, I mean they've lost their momentum, right? They have a hard time recovering without a bull market in sight. They need that bull market where everything goes up and their project also goes up. Otherwise, they need time to fix the structural problems. Well, actually, Mean pet did make some gain. I don't know why, but you can definitely see a quick pump here. But the pump is already being thrown away by the paper hands. So that's basically everything for coin market cap. Let's head over to OpenSea. I was quite struggling with OpenSea uh, when I was trying to load it because it wasn't working. I'm in my account right now, which is cool, but 
OpenSea having fucking issues. Can't imagine. Like I tweet about it a lot. Fucking billion dollar company, five billion. How to? How much are they fucking worth? Can't make their fucking website work. It's fucking mental. Fucking crazy. Look, Francis. Fuck off, mate. Just make your website work. I want to know the most popular ranked on volumes. And I was working all of a sudden, but uh, I can't see my wallet. Okay, weird. Board at Yacht Club, 103 Ethereum. Asuki getting momentum over the Mutant Apes, 18. So that went from like two Ethereum up in the last 24 hours. Mutant Apes, 22.89. World of Women, 12.5. Clonex, 14.5. Board at Clinic Club, 8.4. Mebits, 5.8. So it appears that the, the value of the actual... So Adidas announced a interest in uh, the Board at Yacht Club. Therefore, it's pumping from one Ethereum up to 1.55. Volumes are up as well, uh, but basically what happened was uh, both of the NFTs actually have uh, made some gains over the last 24 hours. So the, the, bit floor, the, the floor prices are all up, not significantly, but maybe like half an ETH, one ETH, which is still uh, to be considered. Lamaverse 3.45, CyberConks 5.7. New Tokyo Outer Identity is 2.85, a little bit down. Project Nano Pass 2.79, Carafuru 2.3. Alrighty, alrighty, more down we go, more down we go. I don't know any of these. Okay, okay, White Sands 0.92, so that's holding quite stable, that's good. Worldwide Webland 1.64, Lazy Lions 1.58. Journey Club 1.1, holy fuck, they got wrecked. I spoke about the FUD on the Digits Club AMA. Oh my god, look at that, look at that. I just want to see the price. Average price, look, 4.9, 5.4, 5 5.4 Ethereum. And in two months, it's, it's down to one Ethereum. And it's not because of the bear market, it's because of lack of trust from the community um, lack of management by whatever this guy's name is, the journey guy. Um, sad to see it. I, I spoke about it today on the Digits Club AMA Live and I trashed the whole guy uh, about uh, bringing big value, uh, taking care of your people, um, entitlement. Uh, but I'm not going to repeat all that here because it's quite negative. And I want to keep it positive. I want to stay bullish, right? Got to stay bullish on everything that's going on because everything is looking good people are getting hyped again my pet hooligan 1.1 i think i should make a move soon let's just browse it real quick obviously by now and i want the one with i want a rare one right so i want to just want to see how much these are okay so they're 20 ethereum that's a little bit too pricey for me i don't want a one with the dead eyes Okay, so three Ethereum is still doable. Yeah, I looked at this one before, five ETH. That's uh, quite pricey still, but doable. Are the dead eyes I don't like. So I put in like these ones. So yeah, the price should drop significantly. I think, I think they're quite funny. And I mean, um, I wish they had one in the suit. Fits by like Godfather style, that would be nice hypnotized og gold teeth i don't want stoners but perhaps with like uh, no i don't think they have with this suit they're all like hooligans right like, like little rebels but yeah they're definitely cool yeah, i'll probably go with the one from like the five ethereum one if i decide to pull the trigger but i have some nfts for sale i need to sell first uh, because I don't want to be hoarding all kinds of nft collections like it's kind of illiquid right it goes against my strategy of stacking my bags with ETH so I can buy crypto gaming micro caps when the market turns bullish. Neo Tokyo Citizens 15.9 definitely gained some volume as well. And other than that, I don't really follow much of these projects. I do follow all the lands, which I think is interesting. So we can look at the lands real quick. And that's probably about it. So the lands. NFT worlds down by one Ethereum, 12.7. Then we got World Wide Web at 1.64. Network land 0.59. I'm still waiting because it appears to be going down. 
steadily only 0.1 a day or so but why not wait a little bit um, and see uh, where we end up uh, but if i see this pumping then i'll jump on it because i'm very bullish on the network project research report coming soon other than that my lands are not really in here on the list still to be reviewed the crypto space is looking bullish we're going to go ahead into april hopefully into the green everything is looking quite good but whether we go up or we go down there's always money to be made this is everything for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one